Coughing is one of the most common health problems causing people to seek medical attention. The cough reflex is extremely powerful. During vigorous coughing, air can move through the bronchial tubes at speeds approaching 500 miles an hour. Now, it's no wonder that chronic coughing can cause exhaustion, dizziness, headaches, even break ribs. So you may well ask, why do we even have a cough reflex? Cough is a useful defense mechanism for the lungs. It, get rid, it gets rid of excess mucus, of particles down in there, of irritating uh, materials down in your lungs. So they re, it, it is useful. So therefore, as long as you produce mucus, as long as you clear secretions, as long as you clear stuff from your lower airways, it's a good cough and it's effective cough. And we really shouldn't be suppressing those kinds of coughs. The bottom line is that <laughs> coughing is a natural defense mechanism that helps keep our airways clean, the good cough. But sometimes coughing can persist even though the condition that caused it has gone. So when does the good cough turn into the bad cough? And what can we do about it when it does? If the cough doesn't produce anything, it becomes a bother, keeps you from sleeping. Um, we can suppress those, those coughs, and those are really the only ones we should suppress. Effective cough suppressants include several over-the-counter medicines containing dextromethorphan. Hard candies or throat lozenges may also help. Some coughs may require prescription medications such as codeine. Another type of bad cough is any cough lasting more than three weeks. Common causes of these include acid reflux, postnasal drip, asthma, and certain drugs. Any cough lasting three weeks or longer, or coughing that produces blood, or is associated with other symptoms such as chest pain, weight loss, or passing out, should be investigated. Remember, coughing is a vital part of our body's defense system and helps keep our lungs clean. Most coughs are due to viral illnesses such as cold, and most of them go away in a week or two. From the LSU Health Sciences Center in Shreveport, I'm Dr. Keith Payne.